queen. This idea started quite a long time ago. Um, <coughs> initially, uh, I was a comic book, not really comic book artist. I was doing some uh, newspaper uh, comics. Then, uh, was during that time, I was really interested in doing comics. But as you know, with printing, it, it proved to be quite a challenge to get somebody to print the comics. So. Uh, it's almost let's say 12 years ago wow 12 years yes so in your day 12 years ago you had this in mind this is something that most kenyans that say they are unique to an online to work with jews but 12 years ago you guys had a plan well uh, 12 as, years ago he had the idea so saying it it, it came to be but i as we both ended up being filmmakers Uh, personally, my 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 path is more through performance, like through primary, high school. We go to performance, drama festivals, music festivals. But then after Sasa to talk about Queenie, when it comes, I need to an acting by the way on the on, on some of the local programs. I made a few appearances in some shows. I realized that bind. I go for my extra bouncer and one time I was uh, I think uh, security guy they kept on hiring me as a policeman for some reason so <laughs> I love <laughs> I, I love who did Dil actually I was also in a, a film called Veve one of uh, local international films and it could be a policy quite yoga marketer but throughout this process I was trying to learn Ukunyuma, uh, how to produce how to because my, my passion of more towards uh, camera work, uh, cinematography, happened with Nishika. Actually, before the camera, you see, like, for me, I got employed at some point in the company in a joker on uh, the street, you know, hustling in a small box. So, I got a job, but I was a job, I was a job, I was a job, I was a job, I collaborate, I was a time mob, and I was in a field, so I was a project, I was a job, so after near employment, we have a new job, because you know there is one aspect of the human emotion. It's like you are telling a story, but essentially you are by yourself. So bringing in other people, like when you add cinematography, you add, you know, what what people don't realize is that with animation, you need to add all the aspects of production. You can't just be the artist a character, you model it, you put it together. Sasa umefika party aku tell the story. You need a guy to record. You know, somebody who understands. Maybe you need a multitask, but those tasks must be done with other people. You need voices. You need cinematography. So ikakuwa kama nafanya animations as mimi naona kuna vile mtu na miss. So he was like also as a storyteller and he had been shooting, you know, short films, films and, and being on set hizo talent mbili zinashikana virahisi juu animators are not producers essentially mimi nikitaka kurecord ndapigia ule mtu najua unaona mimi sina skills za casting sitaanza tikuangalia ati oh has what skill and what they are bringing into the picture no what I'll just do is I'll, I'll call the guys i know so kuongezea hapo iza kuwa hizo skills yapi yako nazo juu amefanya casting amefanya production amefanya cinematography kwa juni project ya ku multitask kwa sasa those tasks na hizi zinashikana bila hisi mainly to say me too quickly because a lot of the our, be, our best films have been done in collaboration with, with, with foreigners so to speak there's nothing wrong with that they come with a lot of knowledge and resources but there is especially in this fantasy world is in animation superheroes what we don't have authentic african superheroes that are on the big screen 
and not just thinking about the business part of it, which is a very important aspect, but culturally. The way to Meti, US, uh, Britain, China, it's because of what we've seen them, how they express themselves in film. As easy to make one your habit, you could express you suffer. check it. And to figure that maybe the people who had the capacity to build this wonderful, huge monuments like these pyramids, we can't. Maybe our imagination can take us and what kind of people are these? What level intellectually, spiritually, we're happy? The bottom of, of this whole story is in African pride. You know, you, the, the first thing I got asked when we released the first pictures of Lady Morale, why did you Americanize it? You know, we, we, we found that odd. Uh, other people asked, somebody said it was costume. Okay, this is my, my take on the African story. There's a lot of things that uh, we ourselves haven't researched. And there is a lot of pride which we haven't really taken time to find out why we should have it or why it exists. You know, look at, looking at something like Lady Moran, the design itself is not inspired by anything we have seen. That is what we are trying. It's the only thing we, it, in terms of film, the, the only inspiration we get is from, if you look at the costume, it's Maasai inspiration, African folklore, you know. African tales, so and then we are adding the science fiction aspect because what we are saying is this aspect of that if you are doing an African science fiction, lazima ko chawi black magic. Ezi kwa kina kwa scientific, kama Egyptology. You know, Egypt is in Africa. There are more pyramids in Sudan than in Egypt, but. You'll find African street Egyptology, you know, Benin, the, the monuments that are there, even here, Gedi ruins, all those things that are in, within Af African context. We treat them as fantasies. Then we go and pick something else, you know, Roman culture. Boss, unajua hii is done. Kuna kitu wanatumia. large volume let's say that it's called the book of Ka. from there we've uh, we basically this is our proposition from the start is like africa was way greater than we see it now the monuments are there to prove <laughs> what we are saying uh, and then we allow now our minds to run in that environment and we are saying that initially all the life in africa was at a central point not really one point but many advanced uh, technological civilizations. civilizations and it is clear that something must have happened there is a break between africans now and before so here we are just letting our minds run because we have from folklore uh, Luanda Magere we have prepositions we won't reveal them now about who Luanda Magere was and how such people came to be known you have uh, great uh, you know stories even from the colonial the pre-colonial struggle colonial struggle with Mekatilili and all those rumors about water that you could wash and become bulletproof yes you see if in in creativity you are allowed to embellish facts so we are just taking these facts <laughs> and then we are going to embellish honestly uh, it would be a lie if we were able to quantify because these are the passion projects. What in, is it? Uh, an estimate. Okay, uh, just on hardware and software and assets, maybe a, a million shillings or more, a bit more, maybe. It is. It's. It's. It's very difficult for such thing. Uh, for in Kenya, just film generally, it's. It's extremely difficult, even from the people who are meant to support it's very difficult to get people going on the business part of this because the business part of it is that you produce a, a, a product that's worthwhile to put in the market that people can pay you to watch it is not just about oh we are kenyans or we are this but a kenyan has access to avengers they have access to captain america has access to wonder woman you it's not fair for you to ask a customer 
<laughs> really because that's what they end up being to pay for an inferior uh, product because like, it's Kenya. It is about now competing. The, the world has changed. We have to compete on the larger scale. But the disadvantage we have that people don't, in as much as they know the kind of benefits that can come from such an endeavor, it's until it, it becomes something that people will get engaged. Yes, uh, first of all, to be honest, where we are right now in the world, the biggest impediment is always the, the capital investment. Where, because this is film, we have a lot of the equipment, not everything, but you need to, to be able to compete internationally, you need to have certain basic level, you know, uh, equipment and investment. So first of all, akuna pesa, you know, so I have to go shoot a wedding, music video, a documentary, to put the money together, he has to do, to put the money together to do this, because the business is in the final product, which is the Lady Moran film. I that is the business. Yeah. I think uh, the, the challenge is a more of a question for before you start, because we anticipated, you know, the, the appetite for organizations, government or otherwise, to support art, not just animation, art in general. So we were not naive. So basically, for myself, I'll do web development, I, I build apps, you know, do use other skills that I have, which are even to do with the, the, the kind of animation and gaming development I do. So those same skills are used in other fields and you make a back, you stay a week in, do I finish the project, you know. So uh, the conversation for me is not really about challenges. It's about how we drive towards achieving. Yes, that is for sure. Uh, this uh, Lady Moran Book of Kai is a, is a multi-media uh, project. Basically, there will be a film, then there will be, uh, uh, be a TV series running concurrently, and then there will be a, a, a game, which, you, which will be basically for, you know, like for PC and Android. So when there's a download game, and you, you do, uh, you know, uh, what is this called? Uh, you know, it was Nafanya challenges. You do challenges. Yeah. So, so basically, the, the design is it's a 360 media project. Uh, the same assets that we are using in 3D because we are working with like one or two local artists and international artists, people who we've agreed on a workflow where they can produce uh, game-ready assets. So we are using this in, in the same environment to create stories and also to create the game. So once the game is done, there'll be there'll be two versions. There'll be a PC version uh, with, with more longer vision type things. Then there'll be the, 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 the Android version. Because we, we, we really don't want to do iOS. Our skills don't reach that far. If we get uh, support, we'll go into iOS. It's more of Android and PC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, we've had a, a lot of goodwill from the actors. It is just uh, because I've worked before uh, with uh, Raymond Ofula. Actually, he's actually he's, uh, he's appeared in one of my short films. He's a very open uh, actor. He, it doesn't matter how big he is. He'll come for the small sh a small shoot if you ask him nicely. And I've done that. We've built a good relationship. I've, uh, just a few months ago, I shot a film with him in Mombasa. That's, I think, a multinational Nahidi. So it's somewhere I've been working with. So when I asked him to do this, in fact, he was very intrigued about the project. He said this, just from the way to Nakueleza Ivy, it intrigued him immensely, so he jumped on. <laughs> we have Kiran Ratanya, who's like, he's also, in, he's been in the, yeah, Night of Popo. So we have that, and then we have Brenda. Brenda Angeso is the Lady Moran. She's the main main character who's upcoming because she's not big yet, but uh, we believe that uh, through this that her, her profile will come up. We, we really just want 
people to give us half a chance. We do not, we are not asking for uh, alms. What we are asking you is to open your eyes and look at what Kenyan filmmakers can make. We are moving to the next step of, you know, of filmmaking and storytelling. We want to own our own stories and we are doing it in the best possible way. Trying to bring the best possible quality films to Kenyans. To, to see what there are, to see to the best international quality. Yes. Support art. That's all I'll ask. You know, support art. Okay, on a kitu metokeze, you any animation, you any play, you any ngoma, you any nini. Shikilia mkenya mwenzako. Semu yunwe shikilia mama mboga pale na mtu adobi na hawe ngine. Shikilia mraia pia animation hata siku kule. Ah! Ah! Ah!